SESAI develops and manufactures AI-enhanced lithium metal and lithium ion rechargeable batteries for various applications like electric vehicles, EVs, drones, and robotics. Their technology aims to combine the energy density of lithium metal and lithium ion with large-scale manufacturability to promote a shift from fossil fuel-based transportation to clean EVs. They use AI across their business operations, engineering, manufacturing, battery health monitoring, safety, and material discovery. The company's mission is to accelerate the global energy transition through their proprietary lithium metal and lithium ion battery technology platform, backed by scalable lithium ion manufacturing processes. They apply AI in three areas, for science, to improve battery performance, for manufacturing, to fine-tune quality specifications based on process data, and for safety, to predict battery incidents more accurately. For electric vehicles, applications, plans are geared towards reaching large-scale manufacturing of these batteries and increasing their quality and safety. AI enhancements are intended to deliver industry-leading energy density, fast charge capability, and battery management systems. They work with major global OEMs such as Hyundai and Honda for the development and testing of their technology. Their goal is to transition from A-sample prototype batteries to B-sample batteries that are manufactured under higher throughput and tested in real EVs. They aim to have fully functional C-sample batteries ready for mass production by 2026, with commercial production expected in 2027. In the area of urban air mobility, UAM, the company believes their lithium metal batteries have potential benefits from adapting their B-sample battery technology, which could lead to quicker commercial production for UAM than EVs. The high energy density of lithium metal could potentially allow aircraft to carry more passengers, cargo, or fly further thus improving the profitability of UAM operators. Similarly, they think their batteries are well-suited for humanoid robots, drones, and other applications due to their high energy and power densities. When looking at the broad implementation of AI in their operations, they specifically concentrate on three major areas, science, manufacturing, and safety. In terms of science, they use AI to screen potential electrolyte solvent candidates. For manufacturing, AI helps fine-tune quality specifications based on process data, which accelerates optimization compared to traditional human methods. Lastly, for safety purposes, they leverage their cell production volume and quality data to train their AI for safety predictions. SES aims to achieve near 100% safety in the field and plans to generate additional service revenue from their AI programs in the future. They also believe there's a significant opportunity in battery energy storage systems, BESS as renewable energy sources are intermittent. BESS helps these alternative power sources contribute steadily to global energy needs, providing flexibility for applications like peak shaving and self-consumption. The company sees their AI-enhanced batteries as capable of extending the life of BESS and improving battery health and safety through AI. They also explain current lithium-ion battery technology used in most commercially available EVs has limitations such as lower energy density, which affects the driving range. Lithium metal batteries are seen as a solution to this problem as they offer the highest possible energy density, making them capable of achieving the longest driving range on a single charge while being lightweight and compact. This is due to their unique anode made from pure lithium metal, which allows for lithium ions to not have to diffuse in and out of the host material, like in conventional lithium ion batteries. They also believe their AI-discovered electrolyte materials can accelerate revenue generation by targeting the large market in these applications. In addition, AI-enhanced electrolytes require less capital expenditure as they can be added into existing lithium-ion manufacturing infrastructure. The company has established strategic alliances with major automobile manufacturers like General Motors, Hyundai, and Honda. These partnerships are aimed at utilizing their battery technology, and they intend to continue strengthening these relationships. Additionally, they plan to collaborate with other OEMs for producing lithium metal battery cells and supporting their supply chain in the development of manufacturing facilities to make the technology widely available in various applications, such as electric vehicles and urban air mobility aircrafts over time. Ongoing research and development efforts take place at three facilities located in the U.S., China, and South Korea. The company has leased facilities in Woburn, U.S., Shanghai, China, and Chengju and Seoul, South Korea. The Woburn facility, which also serves as headquarters, is primarily involved in research and development of chemistry, materials, and algorithms, along with partner engagement. 
There's another facility near Woburn that specializes in novel electrolyte molecule discovery and synthetic pathway development. The Shanghai facility concentrates on supply chain development, manufacturing process development, battery cell development, and production. The Chengju facility is focused on manufacturing process development. An office in Seoul manages the supply chain, customer relations, and partnerships in the region. SES states upwards of 83% of their 250 full-time employees are engaged in R&D functions. Their activities focus on enhancing battery technology in order to scale up for commercialization, module and pack design, AI software and battery management system, BMS, advanced materials and coatings, cathode material and design, and recycling methods particularly for lithium metal foil. Collaborations with OEMs is meant to customize and validate their battery design at a large global scale. While all these plans sound promising, it's important to remember the company is in the stage of product development, with their product design yet to be finalized. Due to this, their demand for supplies is limited, and they do not have long-term supply arrangements. However, as demand grows, they plan on negotiating long-term supply contracts. For now, they rely on third-party suppliers for raw materials, components, and equipment needed to develop and produce their metal battery cells. On the road to widespread commercialization of these batteries, uncertainties and losses are expected until profitability is achieved. The most likely factors to affect the timing and level of profitability are the resolution of scientific challenges, market demand, product performance, supply material costs, AI infrastructure investment cost, average selling prices, safety concerns, production capacity, collaboration with OEMs, and conformity of growth projections with consumer preference trends. It's also realistic and important to note that despite showing promising results in third-party tests, the technology has not been tested in actual EVs yet. Moreover, the market for UAM is still emerging, and it remains uncertain if lithium metal will be a preferred battery technology for UAM applications. Speaking of the UAM market, please kindly check out previous videos detailing companies like Joby Aviation, Archer Aviation, XTI Aerospace, and New Horizon Aircraft. For more on SESAI and other companies, follow us Sancor. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.